Hello boys and girls, this is Vitorios and today I want to share with you a quite unique technique that I used to create this beautiful flower in the Adobe Illustrator and this technique is very rich, it allows you to create a whole variety of uh, designs, uh, most of them will be absolutely awesome. Uh, you can experiment with the uh, brush presets, with the blend, with the color, with the stroke weight, with the size. Uh, this is a tutorial based on uh, Adobe Illustrator transformations and uh, so some of them is quite heavy for this software. I try to trim this uh, technical rendering stuff. Some transitions in my video is not so very smooth. But it's definitely worth to watch and uh, uh, if you find it hard following this tutorial you can always uh, go to vitorials.net and read a com comprehensive articles on this topic. So let's begin. So today I will show you how to create this beautiful vector flowers with only blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start with a new document, go to file new. Use landscape orientation and the width and height 890 and 700 respectively. Uh, we will work in pixels. So click create, I have already created my one. Go to the ellipse tool or click L on your keyboard. Hit on your artboard to open the dialog box. Make sure that you link your width and height to create a circle and set the width and height to 170 pixels and click OK. Set the color to this red value. And click copy, <clears throat> set the stroke color to this yellow. Select both of them with selection tool. Go to object and make blend. Go to blend options, choose spacing specified distance 0.4 pixels and cl click OK. Then hit Ctrl Alt B or Command Option B on your Mac or go to object blend make so we need to grab this blend and drag it to the brushes panel if you can't find your brushes panel go to windows brushes or simply click f5 on your on your keyboard so i will grab this to brushes in open dialog box choose our brush and click ok then change the width to fix it to rotation, I'm sorry, change the width to rotation and uh, change the direction from top to bottom, this rightmost. And click OK. Then go to ellipse tool, hit on your artboard and set the width and height to 40 pixels and click OK. Then go to brushes panel. For me it's art brush number 4. For you it's art brush number 1. And click OK. This is my brush. I will reduce the stroke weight to make it a bit smaller to 0.6. Excellent. Then I will use my scale tool. Double click on it. And I will scale to 80% and click copy to make a copy of this flower. Then I will click to Ctrl D or Command D to repeat this operation. And then keep this selected. I will go return to my scale tool and set the value of 60% to make the smallest Petal. Click OK. Excellent. Then 
I want to grab my biggest circle and copy this holding left mouse button key and alt or option on your Mac drag it here I also want to group and copy this this group and paste in, in front I will delete this uh, blend and I will drag it here this will be the basis of our next flower so select this circle I will drag it a little bit here select this circle go to scissors tool scissors or click C I will increase the I will scale my artwork with Ctrl plus or command plus on your Mac and I will slice one fourth of this object beautiful I also will slice one uh, one half of this circle beautiful and I will delete another fourth then we need to decrease the stroke weight but increase I set the stroke weight to 0.2 and increase the size of this bottle beautiful then I will go to object arrange uh, bring it to front or make a short code ctrl shift uh, right bracket command shift on your mark and I want this bottle will point to the center of my of my circles beautiful I need to reduce it just a little bit excellent then I need to go to rotate tool or click R on your keyboard keep this bottle selected hold alt key or option on your mark and click left mouse button key and set the, set the angle of the rotation to 20 degrees or to 30 degrees I find that uh, all, all every number between 20 and 30 work very very well so <laughs> we can choose from 20 24 or 30 degrees and click copy and then repeat this operation with Ctrl D or Command D on your Mac. Beautiful. Then we need to select all the bottles. I will do this with holding Shift and click on every bullet in my layers panel. And the last one. Go to selection tool. Then open the context menu with right mouse button key and choose group and I will set them to back send them to back or ctrl shift left bracket key beautiful then we need to align them I will drag it a little bit left with my left arrow key on my keyboard So let add final touches to our flower. We will change the uh, shapes with uh, warp tool and direct selection tool. Select this group, ungroup your flower, then ungroup these circles. On your layers panel, lock these layers and uh, select top eclipse scale your artwork with ctrl plus command plus then click shift l or uh, go to the work tool on the tools panel double click on it in open dialog box set the values of width 10 points height 10 points intensity decrease the intensity to 25 percent and the number of details to 4 and click OK 
Then with the VAR tool, focus on this uh, bottom right sector and drag it forward to your get. Oops. It's too much. Ctrl Z, Command Z to undo. Oh, this is perfect. You can make some small adjustment to another circles. I do not bother you with this uh, repetitive work. I want to show you how to modify another petals. We will do this. If you remember, we will make this with the half of the circle. You need to decrease and then go to the rotate tool and hold it on or option on your map. Click on your left mouse button here, set the volume, search to the click on B, make this. Control shift uh, left bracket or on command shift left bracket and go to the option arrange send to deck. Well, this is how you can create this beautiful backup one with the blend tool, custom brush. If you like this tutorial,